sister and ecosystem is an opportunity and not necessarily a crisis. And I think this is why this panel is going to look at how can Africa accelerate the transformation of e sector ecosystem to continue with its growth and development agenda in a way that is sustainable. In this room, we all agreed, all of us, uh, unless people have changed their minds, that we are also keepers of e waste, all of us. Uh, and I think I'm still looking around to see somebody who say I'm not. All of us are keeping e-waste in our houses, in our drawers, in our garages, in our backyards. So, so I think another important aspect of this regulation is how do we enforce that everyone must find, must find the space to bring their e-waste their e forward. Now I'll say something that might not be nice to those who are practitioners like ourselves. Because we always say that, please bring your e-waste, but the question is always what do I get? If I take my old uh, computer, my, my old laptop to you, uh, what do you give? And then sometimes I know Pony, my friend, they will so say, no, 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 it's an environmental issue. No, no, no. I'm saying I bought this laptop for 5,000 rand. Now I must give it away because you say you, you want to recycle it. And I think there should be some regulations around how do we incentivize people to bring their e-waste. So, 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 so I think for me that is one, that is one key uh, aspect the rate of production of the waste money of the waste in Nairobi is uh, when we look at our statistics Nairobi produces about 2400 tons of waste daily so when you think about collecting that number of tons at times it's a bit challenging and i'm sure you are witnesses to this when we have a team of the smart Nairobi sweeping and before they have done 50 meters some people are busy littering again. So I must confess that we are doing a lot. It's only that our habits and culture are a bit wanting. Uh, when it comes to matters of e-waste, uh, we are doing a lot and I'm representing digital economy and startups and that is where we are addressing the issue of e-waste. Just to say how Nairobi County has been restructured under executive order by the governor, His, His Excellency Sakaja, is that ICT moved from just being ICT to innovation and digital economy, where digital economy and startups sit. And towards this, we also have Smart Nairobi. So when we are addressing the issue of e-waste management in the county, it is towards achieving Smart Nairobi. So as we know, uh, uh, as all Africans, uh, this e-waste uh, faces several challenges uh, like any African countries. Now, uh, in Ethiopia, before six, five years, Ethiopian government is make uh, policies and uh, even mobilizing uh, some er in some areas. So, uh, for, for some reason, now is very not uh, fasting. So now we are new, new e-waste, e-waste uh, organization we make, and um, me myself is the founder and uh, the second leader of that institution. So these all gaps are we are trying to collaborating with government and institutions is going good. An area that is normally forgotten is our education system. And I would encourage all the players in e-waste management to work together with the education stakeholders. Why is this? When you empower the education system of a, uh, of a country, you shape the culture and the thinking pattern of these people. Our education system has not been able to develop a circular economy, which is something that we need to address that right from early years of education, the culture that we develop for our students is that of circular economy, so that we think about these things right uh, early. What is coming out from all of us is that there's a need for more collaboration, need for, uh, because we can develop as much as tons of, le of regulations, but if they are not enforced, they are they're actually meaningless. Yes. And lastly, that we, we, I think we need to agree that Africa is not a dumping ground for all technology. And I think as much as we appreciate donations, but I think, uh, Western or Eastern countries that are producers of massive of these things should not see Africa as a dumping ground, but rather collaborate with us to see how do we take out what we produce. And I think 
for young people in the uh, listening, uh, I know they, they they rush for the new iPhone every time. Can we keep the technology? Can we can we keep a phone longer? Can we have the circularity of the technology so that so that we, we produce less and less of e-waste? Thank you.